Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I thought I'd sit here for a few minutes and try to catch up on some of these email. Well, I've got what you would call a testimony from our sister Tessa that, you know, I took up a collection for. And she had found a, a cheaper place to live. And something made her decide to stay at home and do nothing that day. But let me just read the email, okay, so I don't get it wrong. All right, she said, and this was February 3rd, so you see how behind I am. <laughs> She said, Hi, Jeannie. I know it's late and you probably are tired. You might be asleep. But I forgot to share something with you. But actually, I didn't completely forget. I was trying to decide if I was going to share it or not. Since it was a personal confirmation for me. This, I want to share it because it shows that if you are sincere, the Lord will answer your prayers. If you need a yes or a no on an important matter, okay? All right, I'll continue. But it was pretty exciting, this incident, she means. I guess you remember, I said I got a call from people that I had contacted for more information on the new housing in our area. Well, I had an appointment for Saturday. I had decided not to do something else that day. Well, long story short, I was led to read reviews about this company. They had a lot of very bad reviews. So I was wondering if I should cancel the appointment. I wasn't sure. So I kept praying about it. That's what we do. When we don't know, we take it to the Lord. Okay, that's me adding that. I asked God and the Lord to help me make the right decision. I asked God and the Lord if they want to show me a sure sign whether to cancel or not. I didn't get anything. No answer. I had called the company to try and cancel, but she said, oh, prices, uh, etc. online wasn't accurate. And I said, I would think about it some more. Well, later, I asked God and the Lord if they would send me a sure sign that I would know for sure was from them. I said, if I should keep the appointment, can you make it thunder or lightning? And I said, I would be listening for it. Some minutes went by. I said, Okay, I said, God and the Lord, if I shouldn't keep the appointment, will you make it thunder and or lightning? Don't you know, in a matter of seconds, I heard thunder crackling. I said, wow, and all kinds of good things. I was so excited. I I take it it wasn't fixing to storm, is what I'm getting by this. I told, oh boy, there sure are a lot of sirens out tonight. That's because I live in a hospital area. And in a senior care facility. They come here a lot. Well, anyway. Yeah, they had to come the other day to get me off the floor. They was trying to haul me off to the hospital. I said, no, just get me in my bed. And I, honest to Pete, I don't remember where it was. How the, somehow 
they got me in my wheelchair and got helped me wheel it to my room here because my bed was already here and boy oh boy I tell you the Lord is good he allowed me to have the sense of mind to say no take me to my bed I want to go to bed <laughs> oh boy okay So in a matter of seconds, she heard thunder crackling. I said, wow, and all kinds of good things. I was so excited. I told God and the Lord, thank you. That was my answer. I called her back and canceled that appointment. I think that was my second or third call to her. Yay, that wasn't the right house or place for us. Praise God. It may have been one of them new places like uh, our sister in Florida was in a new senior. It wasn't like this place, but it was just made for all seniors. And she said they had 5G installed all up and down the halls. And she could really tell it was affecting her. They might have had that in this building. They make them real cheap, you know, but then they'll install 5G, which must not cost them much or else they don't care. They just want to get us any way they can. So anyway, praise God, praise the Lord, amen. I just had to share. Sorry so long, but worth it. God bless you, Miss Jeannie. We love you. Love your little sister in Christ, Tessa. She said, you have my permission to share if you choose to, but you don't have to. I will let God and the Lord and you make that decision. Well, I decided to share it because, like I said before, people need to know that if they need a sign from the Lord, it's okay to ask for one. She needed to know, was this the right place to go or not? Because, you know, once you get there, the salesmen are just so good. At, oh, this is a lovely place. And they take you on a tour and they show you all the good stuff. And, oh, look, and we got free Wi-Fi and, and whatever, you know, and... And then before you know it, you're thinking, oh, this is a real nice place. And you get into it. Then, like that lady in Florida said, that 5G was just messing with her. And it will. Who? I tell you what. We just all have to stay in prayer. We have to stay prayed up, armored up. Because that stuff's everywhere. And if it's not 5G, what? it's something else. They said, one of the videos I watched, probably last week, because I haven't been watching any, said, don't buy any bad salad. People been finding little frogs in their salad. I'm like, oh, don't even tell me. I buy those salad mixes where you get the salad, the lettuce, all different kinds. And then you get a little bag of maybe croutons and a little bag of dressing and a little bag of apples and walnuts or whatever. It's a mix. <clears throat> Even when it's just a mixture of greens. And I'm like, that's what I buy. I don't buy a head of lettuce. That cheap lettuce, it can go bad. Or you can buy a bag of romaine. I don't know if that counts. But anyway, I just thought that they had a picture of it and it just grossed me out. I thought, is anything going to be safe to eat? You know, if it's not Whole Foods and you don't go yourself or you can look at it real close, we just have to pray over everything we eat, everything we drink. Anything you put in your mouth, probably everything you bring in your house. 
Thank the Lord for it and ask him to bless it and purify it. I'm telling you, between the chemtrails, the water, the stuff they put on vegetables, what is it? You know, pesticide control. It's just like, you know, Agenda 21 at work. At your service, trying to kill you. Oh, yes, we are. But then they'll deny it flat out and call you crazy if you try to tell a doctor or anybody that you think you're sick because of the chemtrails and the pesticides and what have you. They're, it's like they've got blinders on. You know, the medical schools are not teaching them about this stuff. And the ones that wake up to it get ostracized or, you know, really hammered, treated like they're dumb, like, oh, I can't believe you're so smart and believe in that, you know, until they end up quitting and starting their own holistic practice or something. A lot of them have done that. I know doctors that have quit and become teachers. Well, I know of one for sure. He was my neurologist at one time. Next thing I know, he's teaching geology. I'm like, what in the world? Well, anyway, I've talked long enough. I hope you enjoyed that little testimony. And it's just to show you, if you need to hear from God, you press in. Sometimes you have to fast and pray to get your answer. It depends on what it is. So, if you want something from the Lord, like a gift, I would suggest you fast and pray. Or press in. You, you can't just pray one prayer and hope to get it. You got... That's why the Lord says, Ask and you shall receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Sometimes you have to ask, seek, and knock. You can't just ask. Sometimes you can. She asked, she received. Because she asked in faith. You see? That's what you got to have faith. You can't ask doubting. Well, I don't know if he'll give me a sign or not, but I'll ask for one. You're probably not going to hear anything, okay? You've got to have faith and belief that our Almighty God is more than capable of giving you a sign or speaking to you or somehow letting you know. And a lot of these kind of answers you won't find in the Bible. You may find something similar that will tell you, yeah, you're supposed to do that. Or no, I don't want you doing that. But a lot of these, like whether to go try to go live in a new housing or not, you're not going to find that in the Bible. You have to ask directly and specifically and expecting to hear. All right? I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection over each and every one of you. I'm sorry about the lighting. Uh, this is the only one and there's one on anyway. So I'll get it where I got lamps all around again. <laughs> but um, I'm glad I had something to bring to you that might actually help you to know that you can ask and get a decision too. So I'll finish pleading the blood over all of us, our devices, our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you again soon.